Is long legs as scary as they're saying? I can tell you, but you're not asking the right question. I saw long legs, so here's the good and the bad without spoilers. Here's the headline. Nicolas Cage is an absolute genius. My expectations were sky high based on the early buzz, and he blew them out of the water. Cage has created an iconic horror character, and he doesn't even have that much screen time in the movie. But he just dominates with chilling commitment and the perfect balance of exaggeration and subtlety. Some might find his performance silly or cartoonish, but that's exactly the point, intended to subvert and undercut tropes. If I had an Oscar ballot, he would get my vote. But Nicolas Cage's performance only works because writer-director Oz Perkins wrote the character and then equally committed to capturing him with the utmost conviction. Perkins wisely hides and teases his most sinister ideas at first, but then when the time comes, he holds the frame with vigor, especially when capturing Nicolas Cage's performance, forcing the audience to sit and bear witness. It's an understatement to say that Perkins is a master of tone, using sound and contrasting cinematography to unsettle and unnerve the audience. The way he bounces back and forth from these tight claustrophobic shots to wide open eerily empty ones is just masterful. And I absolutely love how he painted with these abstract black shapes in the background, often on the periphery of shots. Though do understand that Oz Perkins takes his time and that the movie is slowly sinking its teeth into you, which is really the only bad thing I have to say about the film. I was worried that in this first slower half of the movie, the whole thing wouldn't come together. But fear not, it very much does, elegantly and brilliantly, resulting in the kind of movie that will definitely reward rewatches and dissections of all the little clues and motifs throughout. I also have to praise the rest of the cast besides Nicolas Cage. Micah Monroe delivers a restrained lead performance that's never boring. Blair Underwood and Alicia Witt are beyond dialed in. And then Kiernan Shipka shows some impressive range with just one scene. Also, the reverse credits were a nice touch. Some reviews are calling Long Legs the most frightening movie of the year, maybe even the decade, but I actually didn't find it that scary. It won't make you jump or cower in your seat all that much. But scary is really besides the point. What Perkins wants is for you to feel disturbed, unnerved, and even upset at how good intentions can be manipulated and how the power in us to hurt and harm others is more on the knife's edge of humanity than we even realize. And to that, I would say mission accomplished.